Good morning, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be doing something really cool where we're taking the shower water and the sink water. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're doing with it. This is the first gray water thing that we're doing here at the homestead. So normally what you would do with gray water is you would do laundry first. That's the more sensible one usually. We've got the laundry machines right there. We're going to be doing that, but I figured why not go big? So let me show you exactly where all of this water is gonna go. So you guys remember we have our rainwater capture, we have our HVAC system, but the shower water is gonna come out here going to go all the way across to the citrus hedge and we're going to water two basins so we're going to make two basins one basin will be right here for these four plants and one basin will be right there for those four plants and so the shower water is going to become our citrus irrigation and yes i know some of the citrus don't look that good some of them look amazing this guy right here he's looking very good that's the valencia orange and the caracara these look great but the user doesn't look that good. Hold on, let's take a look. Oof, not the best thing to see, I will admit. Uh, typically, this is gonna be an overwatering issue or a stress issue, so I'm just gonna see if it comes back. I mean, see these yellowing leaves just pop right off the plant, which is not a good feeling, but we'll hopefully get that to come back. As you can see, the work has begun in a way. We've gotten some tools out, we've got some gear out, some hole saws, we're gonna need those. But over here in the front, See if we can find her. Brooke is here from Catching H2O. She's gonna be helping me out. Take a look, all these fittings, PVC glue, all that kind of stuff. She's probably over here. So here's Brooke from Catching H2O. Already hard at work over here. Uh, we've got quite the tools. I already explained kind of generally what we're doing, but on like a nuts and bolts level, how does this actually work? Yeah, so what we're gonna do um, right now is I'm gonna start with the shower and bathroom sink water. Yep. Um, this is gray water um, and it's legal to use gray water in the state of California and in San Diego. Um, so what we're gonna do is put uh, install a three-way valve in, in the plumbing under the house, which is where we can capture the water under the shower as it's draining. And the three-way valve allows you to turn the water back to the sewer. You know, if you need to like clean your shower with bleach or it's raining a lot and you don't want to uh, discharge gray water into the into everything, the saturated ground, um, it's that's also part of code is you need to be able to turn it back yeah. to, the, to the sewer. So by installing this three-way valve, um, we're going to um, have the water coming in and then be able to be diverted either to the sewer or the gray water line, which is gonna run under the house and to the other side to the citrus trees. Um, but obviously you're not gonna wanna crawl under the house every time you right. <laughs> flip the switch. So, so we're gonna install an actuator. This is just like a, a spa and pool valve. Um, and so this is very common material. Um, so we're gonna install this actuator on the valve, um, which will, it's low voltage, so it'll be tied to a transformer and a switch that's going to be located in the bathroom yeah. so that you can flip from gray water to... Um, in a very pleasant way for the homeowner. Yes, yeah. yeah, without having to crawl under the house. So just um, using ABS parts. Um, standard plumbing. Standard. Yeah. Everything is standard um, here. Yeah, the only difference is that we're draining it outside instead of into the sewer system. And then when we get to the end, uh, you'll see um, this piece, which is not as standard or readily available. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's a double L fitting, and we're gonna use it to create what's called a branched drain gray water system. So the water will be draining to this point. We're gonna install this level. Um, and then water will pool out. 50% of the water will come out this way and 50% this way. So we can split it into the two basins feeding the eight trees. For four trees each. Yep. yep. Perfect. Okay. Well, step one is getting under there, I guess, and getting into it. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> so we have the rough spot for both of the trenches, four trees right there and four trees right there. So we're gonna dig 12 inches deep and about maybe two foot wide or so. But before we do that, we actually have to, this is a dump pile for the dirt, by the way. Before we do that, we have to clear out this area, which Jacques is working on, because we got to get the piping out from the underneath of the house 
it's going to go underneath here and run all the way out but since this concrete's coming out for pavers at some point in the future probably going to use this hammer to just like jackhammer a little section out so we don't have to dig under it for no reason so here's trench number one we're still going to run it by brooke and see what she says but we've gone about two feet wide we've gone about 12 inches deep and you want to kind of score the side so it's not like a flat wall uh, but man number one i need to work out more but number two it's a lot of dirt i mean it really is a lot of dirt so the other one over here is a little bit less far along okay so jacques found a uh, salamander underneath the dragon fruit where is it, there it is. do you see it? it oh it's right there look at that tiny little guy there it is wow i did not expect that and some worms <laughs> and some worms so secret just put pots on the ground and put mulch on <laughs> below it and you'll get something that's so cool let's see how this goes So we gotta crack all the way through. Mm -hmm. So now, and this is already cracked, you yeah. can see the grass. So if we got a pry bar on either side, this yeah. whole piece should just pop right up. We could hit it with a mallet too if we want, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we got the um, we got the trench done. We got this stuck a couple times, all good. But eventually we did it with a sledgehammer and a matic. And uh, <laughs> look at this, I mean this Bermuda, look at the Bermuda. So the Bermuda, there was a crack right here. We went in naturally against the crack and you can see the Bermuda coming up from below Everywhere. the concrete pad and just like attaching to the inside of the wall and like searching straight up. Insatiable plant. All right, it's been a little bit, but we've trenched out this entire piping. We haven't actually tied the pipe together because you have to make sure it drops about a quarter inch every foot. So there's a pretty significant drop from this point over to this point. And now we're gonna break through this we're actually digging this trench a little deeper as well as that one. So that's the next step. Okay, we are actually doing the laundry gray water today too, um, which is fantastic. And this is where this one's gonna come out and it's gonna irrigate this artichoke patch or whatever else ends up being here over the course of many, many years. So the, we just have to drill the hole. So the hole's half drilled on the other side. I'm gonna finish it up by drilling it in on this side. Did I get it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> come off a little bit though, huh? We have the plumbing coming out, it's gonna drop down into this little channel and then it's going to this sort of J. And this J is just the channel for the laundry gray water. The laundry runs on a pump, so it will pump it out into this little channel here. So you don't need to be extremely particular. We just went maybe, what did you say, Jock, like 15 inches uh, wide? I think like 18 inches wide, less than a foot, about a foot deep. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to be too stressed about it and it's just gonna trickle out I do laundry maybe once or twice a week at a maximum, so it's not going to be a ton of water, but it is going to be some water to save. We've been doing a lot of digging. Actually, mostly it's been Jacques, so we need a Jacques appreciation comment again on the on the video, because uh, my energy has been extremely low today. But I do want to show you, you know, what's going on over here. We have this plumbing is like roughly fit out. Got my straw hat on, uh, and it's coming out, and it's boop coming into here. It'll go into here, and then it'll jump in through there into there. The laundry system is installed as far as the irrigation goes, so you can see there's gonna be one, two, and then a third point right there. And then we're gonna put these little caps on so that no debris gets in them, but it's pretty simple in the laundry. I'm actually running a load of laundry right now just to see how it works. So there's the shower right there. And then the water comes down, you have a little P-trap here. And then right there is the three-way valve with the actuator on top, which is wired up through the house into the bathroom so I can turn the switch on in the bathroom. But take a look, if you flip it, it'll either go this way towards the sewer or it'll go this way and out towards the citrus pad. So it's really handy to have that wire up there because obviously I'm not coming underneath my house to turn it on or off. All right, we actually have it working, guys. This is crazy. So there's one of them. It comes out and it does a perfect 50-50 split right there. So you can see it coming out right there. And then it also runs down this channel here and it fills up right here as well. So we actually have the entire shower system up and running. As you can see, the shadows are long. It's been a long day, but it's looking really good. All right, it is the evening. It's getting to be the evening. Actually, look at the sunset. Look at this. Is that not amazing? Oh my God. Woo. By the way, 
This is what we're doing for our giant cabbage, San Juan Cabbage Strano. We are very much protecting him from the heat. But you guys don't care about that. You want to see the final system set up. Final thoughts here. What we're going to do here, this is perfectly fine. But what we can do is we can cut in to here, to here, to here in between these artichokes. And we can actually distribute this water a little bit more effectively. All this will get back filled with mulch because you don't want to put dirt in there, it'll clog it up. So you want to put mulch in there and then the mulch acts as sort of a, a wicking layer. What you got over here, so this actually was the most challenging part, I gotta be honest with you guys. This was quite challenging. So what you have to do is you've got to drop at least an eighth of an inch per foot, which means, you know, over the course of 40 feet or so, you're dropping quite significantly as you can see. And then what we do is we come out here and you pop in. Now, I will show you really quickly how this works. So this is a simple setup, really. So let's get this out. You gotta, there we go. So it's a perfect splitter. So 50% of the water goes out that top right there. You can see it dripping. And then 50% splits down into this pipe, which also has to run an eighth inch drop on the grade out to here. So what's really cool is we have, look, one, all the way down eight of the citrus trees but right here we can do at least another eight trees so we have 16 trees watered solely almost solely on the shower i'm not sure if i showed you guys but this is how the laundry gray water works so you have your water it pumps up into here from the laundry and then if i go like this and turn it down it's going to route it out down here into the sewer or what we call it the black water and then this way boom it's gonna come down here, run down, and go into that artichoke patch that you just saw. But there's one final thing I need to show you in this mess of a home. Home tour coming soon, don't worry. But take a look at this. Easily my favorite feature, and where I will be ending today's video. This little toggle here. Now watch, if I turn it up, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's an actuator going down below there that is actually turning it to black water. So if I turn this on right now and it runs out, it's gonna run straight into the sewer. And if I turn it back this way, it's gonna run to the gray water. It's been a really long day. Uh, I am pretty tired. I gotta say, I got, we gotta give shout outs to Jacques in the comments. He came over and he blasted through a lot of this digging and helped me out a lot. And then of course, Brooke from Catching H2O. Her info is gonna be down below. There's gonna be more coming with Brooke. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But right now, in one day, we have water coming from our laundry and our shower going straight into the Epic Homestead landscape. And that feels pretty good. So I'm really stoked. I'm actually going to use this shower now. So that's not going on the video. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing. <laughs>